President Biden is not on the ballot today in Virginia, but boy, are the Democrats letting it be known how embarrassed they are of the guy. A new poll finds 44% of voters in his party want somebody other than Biden to be the 2024 nominee. Earlier while overseas, Biden trying to spin his leadership as a success. If you take a look at what, what economy is growing, the United States is growing. This Thanksgiving, we're all in a very different circumstance. Things are a hell of a lot better, and the wages have gone up higher, faster than inflation, uh, and we have generated real economic growth. As bad as things are in terms of prices helping, hurting families now, trade this Thanksgiving for last Thanksgiving. Harold, wages aren't keeping up with inflation in this country. Uh, before we move on, the Fox, we have the voter analysis that you're going to see on the side of your screen some from the elections today. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye on that. But listen, put your listening ears on, as Judge Judy would say. Wages are not keeping up with inflation. And um, inflation is running, according to one gauge, at the fastest pace in uh, 30 years, Harold. So I think that voters are concerned, as I am and you are, about inflation. I don't know how much voters are giving him or assigning all the blame to Biden and all the blame to his policies. I think the supply chain is having an uh, impact on this. Democrats kind of lose their sense of humor about things. They're very reactive people. I'm one of them. Uh, they, they're, they're frustrated right now with the fact that uh, he can't seem to referee and reconcile differences between the moderates and progressives. So they're, they're, they're expressing themselves. But I'll tell you, if we sit here tomorrow and you invite me back at some point, and the New Jersey race goes Democrat, the Virginia race goes Democrat. You get Eric Adams as mayor here in New York, which is likely to happen, and he really ushers in a public safety platform that changes the, the construct and direction of the city, and they pass something in the House and the Senate here in the next week or so, the numbers will probably go, go back up. But I don't, I, don't, I don't quarrel with you, but as you and I both know, you don't give all the credit to this, but the S&P, the Dow, and the NASDAQ all closed at record today. The Dow closed above 36,000. You get on me a little bit, but I'm a capitalist Democrat, and I think those things are important for the country to be able to grow, and it's important even for this president. Uh, if it were a Republican president, I'd be celebrating these numbers, and I think we ought to give him credit for uh, being at least a part of this story. GG. Well, first of all, I love the GG name. Yeah, never yeah. <laughs> that was my nickname when I danced. <laughs> You know, uh, it was super spreader. Well, that was that was in the low days when I had to make money the hard way. You know, I want to say I was just thinking that De Blasio filed for to run for governor for New York, right? Didn't he yeah. yesterday? So that's I mean that's scarier than any of this. But anyway, so the 40, 44 percent of Democrats wanted to want another nom uh, want another person besides Biden. You have to remind yourself that the number was probably higher when he was actually running, but they said. <laughs> Just get in, and we'll figure it out later. <laughs> so this is actually, I think, for the Democrats, this is part of the plan, right? Uh, they never said, we love Joe, and we're going to stick with him till 2024. They just wanted him to get into the door and then replace him when he falls apart, which could be in a year, could be less than a year. The problem is the backup quarterback that they have sucks, and they need a new one. They expected that they were getting, like, a right. youthful Joe Montana. Exactly. Instead, they got a Todd Moranovich. Huh? Yeah. How's that, sports people? That sports. You're people. pulling out Marinovich. Yes. That's excellent. You know who he is, right? Yes, I Todd. do. Todd. He was one of the. Todd. What did Todd I say? Marinovich. No, you said I'm, I'm with you, Todd. Yeah, Todd. West yeah. Coast man. Yeah, remember his dad? Crazy. Yeah, I, <laughs> I have nowhere to go with that, <laughs> Jesse. Because again, we're getting to a long conversation about the Marinovich clan. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't want to engage in a sports conversation with Gutfeld. That's going to go nowhere. But I, this is a poll. Great of, reference. This is a poll of Democrats, so I have to put my Democrat thinking cap on. I have to slouch and frown and be jealous of Gutfeld's vast wealth. <laughs> <laughs> and so the Democrats, I know, because I know Democrats, they want power. That is the most important thing. And so this poll acknowledges that they don't think Joe Biden can win re-election, and they think his presidency so far is costing them power in the House. Democrats obviously want their agenda enacted, and so far Joe Biden has not really been effective at enacting their agenda. And then lastly, Democrats want to be inspired. That's why Democrats usually vote for the guy that sends a thrill down their leg, you know, Bubba or Barack. Is Joe Biden inspiring Democrats? No. He can barely make it through a speech that's in the teleprompter. So he's boring, he's ineffective, and he's threatening their hold on power. That is the reason why Democrats are fleeing like this so significantly. And can I fact check him one more time? Yes. He's comparing this Thanksgiving to last Thanksgiving. Yeah. We're actually averaging more COVID-19 deaths today 
than we averaged last year, same time, and same amount of cases. So things have not gotten better in terms of COVID with Joe Biden on that metric. Yeah, and the, and the truth is that that Joe Biden is losing on education. He's losing on the coronavirus. In addition to that, the Democrats, as you say, Jesse, are not inspired. Then you've got a scenario where the guy falls asleep at an international conference where, and then he shows up at a climate conference that we'll talk about later, you know, with 85-car motorcade. Everything he does is inconsistent with his message. He can't keep his own party together. Everyone's disappointed in him. Him. And the and, you know, Kamala Harris, they've got nowhere to go with her. So, you know, they're like they're they're totally frustrated with their own party. And the truth is that when you've got Manchin coming out and saying that he's playing all kinds of shell games and he's got all kinds of budget gimmicks, nobody's buying anything that this man is selling. Nothing of what he's selling is positive or anyone wants to engage in. Well, the only embrace. reason he was elected was to not be President, President Trump. Trump in style, but not right. substance. Yeah, exactly. Right. Just right. in style, and instead he comes in and immediately, because, again, the uh, Republicans lost in Georgia, and immediately started re yep. re referring to LBJ and FDR. Yeah. And that that's not what people elected him to. Quite frankly, we'd be a lot better off as a country if he was asleep. All the time. <laughs> yeah, but then who's running the country, do you know? Yeah, the but The American it, people. The American people? Yes. But, but it, what about schools? They if take them over. Oh, they pull when? their kids out. When, Greg? Tomorrow. Okay. We're all doing this together. Okay. I don't have kids, so I'm not allowed to do that. But I do. I've tried. If we were on that Teslian autopilot, we'd be in good shape mm -hmm. nationwide.